It's been about a year since we've hung out with friends in a actual restaurant. And since my husband and I are vaccinated, we decided to take some of our friends up on an offer to hang out. We went to a little restaurant about an hour from where we live that goes, we have to go through the mountains to get there and it's next to a little river, which is actually really cool. And then I took no other videos or pictures because I was too excited about seeing actual human beings. It's been a long year. It feels like it was a century ago, but over Christmas, I ended up with some Culture Hustle paints that are black light friendly, except for the blue. The blue is not too great on that. I decided that I wanted to make something a little bit more abstract, but would still be fun to look at under black light if I ever had the chance to. I decided to use the yellow, the pink, and I had red from Culture Hustle as well, but not in uh, paint, well, it's in pigment form rather than what they call potion form. So I had to mix that up myself. The paints themselves are actually fairly thin, and because I wanted them to be a little thick so that they would leave a texture, I mixed them with a kind of gel acrylic thickener and just mix that right in. It does dry clear even though it's white, but it does also kind of lessen the color a little bit. But luckily these paints are really, really pigmented. So it didn't end up being a problem. I'll be honest, at first I wasn't really sure what I wanted out of this painting, so the yellow took me a lot longer to figure out exactly what I was trying to do, and I struggled a little bit with it because I just wasn't sure what I wanted. This is I don't generally do paintings like this, so I wasn't really sure what the end result was even going to look like. Once I got into the pink, I knew what I was going for, and I was able to create some really cool texture as I was working. The pigments come in a very fine powder in these cute little jars and you have to be a little cautious because they will fluff everywhere if you're not very careful. But I just mix them straight into the gel thickener and you just kind of pour it right in, mix it all up. You can also mix these pigments with water in order to make them a little bit more workable if you're having trouble with them poofing everywhere when you try and touch them. It is suggested that you use like uh, respirators and stuff when you work with a lot of these pigments because they are very thin, but I really didn't have that problem. I also wasn't able to get it to be true red while I was working with it simply because 
Well, it's, I don't really have that capability with this thickener. However, I still like the color uh, as a finished product. While it won't work for black light, I decided to finish up this little thing by using some gold and doing a dry brush over the top of it. Dry brushing essentially, if you just kind of take almost all the paint off of a brush and then rub it softly over the peaks and valleys of a painting will transfer that color onto the peaks. It may go elsewhere, but it's more on the peaks. This is actually a pretty common technique in Warhammer painting, which I actually do a lot of. And I always seem to forget that the dry brushing is even a thing until I'm trying to figure out how to put the little details on the peaks of each thing without, you know, drawing them on. You don't have to, you just use dry brushing. And it's a very cool technique. Overall, I'm actually really happy with this. This is not something that I normally would do, and I'm not really into the whole abstract thing, but I thought it was really, really cool. Plus, you have the added bonus of this being, well, black light friendly. So if you had some place where maybe you had a black light, you could pop something like this on the wall and it would really, really shine afterwards. And actually, I think that's really cool. And that's it for this little art piece. I really enjoyed making it and I hope you enjoyed watching me make it. I will see you guys later.